Oh, Mr. Plow, that's my name. That name again is Mr. Plow. Thank you, Mr. Plow. Now my store can remain open. KZ Guy 2 here again. No nonsense, no how. And today's gonna be a little snow vlog. This will be basically documenting my first experience ever operating uh, snow removal professionally for somebody. So I got a little storm rolling in and I reached out to a couple landscapers yesterday. Found a guy uh, that was willing to hire me without any experience. Told him, you know, I drive a pickup truck daily. Shouldn't have a problem with a plow. And he said, let's do it. But I'm on the way there now and I'm gonna kind of just document uh, my experience in this video. All right, about two hours into it, I got put in this GMC with a boss plow down the city. And so, so far we just hit this sidewalk and we went over to a condominium over on Parkway, just laying down salt. We just finished up with that place and I'm waiting on a call back from him to tell us where to go next. So kind of like a paid break. Of course, I'm hiding behind this dumpster behind a Chinese food restaurant to take a leak because down here in the city, it's like uh, there's just nowhere to take use the bathroom. I went in the Wawa. Of course, the bathrooms are closed there and with this whole Corona thing going on. Oh, look at this street. Of course, this lens going to end up getting uh, snow all over it. But yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty time of year. Absolutely. We got no horn in this truck either. Oh, there we go. Horn X does work. <sighs> So yeah, I got stuck doing quite a bit of pushing snow by hand. One thing that sucks down here is so that a lot of these sidewalks are just so cattywampus. Like, and you just keep hooking on everything. Down here is not too bad at this place, but oh, see, I have a tree, you know. What do you think, Santos? Easy work or what? Fucking hard. <laughs> Not too bad. I was able to use the plow some to, to get all this, but of course we still had to shovel these sidewalks. So on to the next one. No, just this one and going around that way. Look. You're gonna hit right here, yeah, right here and then go straight down that yes. way. And that's it. Down, straight ah, down that way. Good, yeah. yeah. And, and oh, then across. Okay, I got it. Right. Take this snow first and push this in the street and I'll grab it and push it down there. Okay. Breaking ABS lights just came on. Engine light's been on. And it was at this point as I'm going through this footage editing it that I realized, geez, I didn't get any decent shots of me plowing because I was wearing the GoPro on my head the whole time. And, you know, it is what it is. I tried. I went out and shot the footage and I'm still going to put it together. But you've probably realized by now if you're watching this that this video is not so great. But regardless, I figured I'd still slap it all together. Man, that's got to be tough work pushing that down the street, huh? That's got to be tough work, huh? Okay. Got you. All right, man. Well, you know, good luck. Hi, right, maybe 10 minutes later, he's still down at the corner. Santos is down there. I figure by the time we're done this, he'll just end up taking the sidewalk. Yes, we'll see. These guys got the right tool over here. Oh, yeah. Forget the shoveling. It's ridiculous. All right, we cleared the path. I think he, I think this is where he's staying now. Because he just disappeared. Let's see if this is home base. Yeah. You staying here for the night then? You're gonna be warm, man? You're gonna be okay? Stay, stay in here for the night? Yeah, that's all I'm doing. All right, man, just wanna make sure. Yeah, it's nice and toasty over here out of the wind. All right, be safe, man. Little update, it's 6 a.m. now, so I've been going for about 14 hours. And coming through these tight, like whatever you wanna call that bridge area alleyway for these parking lots with the plow is like it's tight and i made it to work 16 hour snow shift overnight no sleep half hour drive to work and now i gotta put a shift in here so was it all worth it i don't know yeah for the experience to get some experience behind the, the wheel of the plow that was great but if i ever do this again like i think i already said six times in this video unless i cut that part out but next time if you do this kind of thing make sure you say hey i'll drive your plow truck i'll run a Kubota for you, whatever you got, front loader, but I ain't shoveling because if you do that for several hours all night, I mean, 
Unless you're in your 20s, you're in, te in your teens or your 20s, okay, you can do it. If you're in your 30s, come on, it ain't worth the wear and tear on the body. It's just not, especially if you got work the next day. Now, he was uh, a little disappointed that I had to peace out after 16 hours, and I told him I have a job, so I, I don't know, whatever. A couple things that would have been nice to have is windshield washers that worked, a reverse cam really come in handy uh, with, with plowing for sure, so you make sure you don't run nobody over when you're backing up in these tight parking lots. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty easy day here, and then I gotta go home and shovel my, my wall. I actually use my snow blower. A few hours later, got everything cleaned off that's important, and I'm ready to do my favorite thing. That is take an outside shower in the winter with a nice cold beer. I say this in a lot of my videos, but if you don't already have an outside shower, I highly suggest getting one. I don't really like working for 26 hours straight. How about you guys? Anybody else enjoy doing that? I don't know if you could tell, but my eyes get so bloodshot when I stay up that long. I need some Visine. Well, that wraps this video up. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my shower now and uh, hope to see you guys in another one. I don't even know if I'll edit this one because it was just kind of kind of boring, I guess you could say. But, yeah, it's a vlog. What are you going to do? Uh, for doing sidewalks and... Oh,